Oh man, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the show. Almost had uh, the same thing happen again. Luckily it fixed itself. Thought we were gonna have a no-show again. <laughs> I really have... Uh, it's the stinking internet in my area. It sucks. Doesn't matter what I do. Doesn't matter what I do. The internet's garbage where I live. But, it's letting us be live at the moment, so we'll just stream until it doesn't allow us to stream anymore, right? Uh, what's up, Scooty? We got Kevin Wilson. Uh, if you're not first or you're last, that's right, Ricky Bobby. That's right. What's up, Pleasant View? Uh, we got Mouse, Duane Baker, Joey Moriera, Alan. Hello, Alan. Uh, holy cow, you're early. Eh, 17 minutes early. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see, we got Do and Baker right out of the gates with a gifted membership. Thank you very much. Do and Baker. Coming in to gifted membership to Joe and Moriera. Thank you, Do and. And congrats there, Joey. Yeah, we're on the survival series, if you haven't noticed. This is uh, the map, The Western Wilds, episode 7, so welcome. Thanks for tuning in. We did a crap load of harvesting on the last episode of this series. So now we got lots of uh, straw bales to bring in from the two big fields we harvested. Uh, since the cows are still young, I'm going to sell all these bales tonight and hope that we'll have enough money to buy a brand new production. So we're sitting at $21,000. And there's a production that we can utilize our straw. Um, I'm going to sell like this field of straw here and see if it's enough before we use the other straw over on the other field. We're going to get a straw processing production building that makes like straw hats and straw accessories and all kinds of weird stuff so uh yeah i think that's pretty cool so we're gonna try to save up enough money for that i think it costs seventy thousand yeah seventy thousand dollars for the straw processing production uh, what's up matt lane brett hershey welcome welcome i started the white farm did you pleasant yeah it's an awesome map i've i've played the crap out of it i love it uh, we got, I got a sneeze. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, I can feel it. It's right there. Jessica, thank you for the 10 months. Jack Whacker level one. But this Jessica. This has been the best 10 months streamer I've ever watched. Thanks, Frosty and chat. That is Jessica. Thank you very much, Jessica. Thank you for the kind words. And thank you for the 10 months of support. Getting close to the one year. Get your rooster after one year. You don't get a gold rooster, but you get a rooster. And that's pretty cool. Not a nice. Uh, let's see. Josh Rutledge. Hello. Adam Groves. Uh, Matt Lane. Good evening, Chris Wilson. I wonder what's the most popular last name in the United States of America. I think Wilson might be up there on the list. There are so many Wilsons in my chat, like last name Wilsons. It's got to be one of the top uh, top last names, right? What's up, Ian W? Abraham Mendez, make sure you also grab the extra storage for this drop. The extra storage? I don't need any extra storage. We got plenty of storage over here. I can either put it in one of those bays or I can uh, get get the uh, rake out of there and put a bunch of straw in there. So I got plenty of space for it. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. It's all good, baby. There's a lot of us. There is. There's so many Wilsons out there. Even growing up. Yeah, Smith, Jones, Wilson, Johnson, Jackson. Yeah. There's, there's so many common last names. 
Uh, Ryan Boltz, good evening. Midwest Farmer in the house. What's that, Mike? Mike Stiltz is in here as well. Hello, Mr. Stiltz. What does that say? What's that sticker say? I can't even read that sticker, Mr. Stiltz. They make the stickers so stinking little, I can't even see them half the time. <clears throat> no, Hockenberry is not one I've heard very often. That, that's a, that's a, like a one and done. What's up, Grumpy? Grumpy gray farmer in the house. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna load up all these bales with our auto trailer. And hopefully we get a decent chunk of money out of it. Because we're sitting at 21 grand. I also need to save up for a mulcher, which is actually more important than the production. But we'll see. Um, I really want that production. I want it. I want it now. I really want it. Get these unloaded here. All right, so that field alone gave us 16 big square straw bales. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so we're gonna take a time out from baling for a second. I also cut down a bunch of trees. I'm clearing out an area, thinking in the future for when we do put in our uh, bigger cow pen. So I'll go into construction mode and show you how many trees I cut down. I cut down a pretty good section. I still need to cut down this little area right here, and then that'll be enough room to place our big cow barn, which is gonna hold 150 cows. So that's the plan. But that's not happening anytime soon. I just wanted to get the trees cut down and maybe we'll cut the grass tonight. Get that cleaned up looking nice out here. You know what I mean? Those will be nice. Right, let's go grab the Chevy. And hook up to the bale trailer. What's up, Matthew Vial? Mia Lasserine, hello. Wilson is the 14th most common last. Did you look that up? That's still, I mean, 14 out of all the last names that could be out there. 14 is pretty, that's pretty up high on the charts, I'd say. Yeah. Wilson is number four. Oh, Jessica looked too. 801,000 Wilsons in the USA. <laughs> Jeez. That's funny. What's up, Mr. Fire Client? So stop slacking on the job. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What cow barn are you placing? Uh, well, I don't really want to say. That'll kind of ruin the excitement. But it's not yours. It's not yours. Not that I don't love yours, but I got to mix it up every once in a while. But it's one from a... It's one that hasn't been seen in a long time. It's an older one. All right. So we got lots of uh, cotton in here. I do want to possibly sell the cotton, sell the honey tonight. We need as much money as we can get so we can maybe get that production so yeah first off let's go get the bales and my sawmill is about it's about 50 percent 50 percent full still got quite a ways to go on that get it topped off but i think by the time i pull over all the logs i trees i cut down it'll be maxed out again our grain mills are spinning in the wind which is good means we got things producing in there. Right. I was here last night. Yes, you were. Watch, Dad. I was here for a couple hours until my internet went out. And it did threaten to do it to me again at the beginning of this stream, but somehow I was able to fix it real quick. Pain in my booty. All right, it's already making flour over there. Oh, that's nice. We'll be selling straight up flour because we don't have a bakery quite yet. But you know, maybe in the future we'll have a bakery to make some bread or something. But even flour is worth a decent chunk of money. 
What's up, Eric Landers? All right, let's see. Operating position. Got this thing ready to rock and roll. And there should be about 16 bales sitting out here. Get them all picked up. Uh, we had a lovely visit after the stream. You have... You had a lovely visit after the stream. Many of us were here longer than you were last night, Frosty. I know. The chat kept rolling for a little bit. Isn't that nice how even after the stream's done, it still lets you guys chat for a little bit? That's pretty cool. That's how Twitch is. Did you know on Twitch, the chat never... Like, it's always a live chat, I think. Like, you can talk in a chat when the streamer's not there all day long. Like, the chat never really shuts down I think that's what I remember because people would comment and it'd be like hours or a day after the stream so yeah it'd be cool if they did that on YouTube or any platform a way to keep communicating with everyone Sh slow rolling trucker what's going on daddy I came back up to ATS on the screen Oh, did it switch to, like, another video of mine or something? What's up, one stack Mac? I got your hat on today. Got your hat on. All right, so we got our first load of bales. 16 of these bad boys. That's about a 50% load. I could get another 16 on here. But we're just going to sell these first. All right, operating position... And we'll see what the best price is for straw. Straw, straw, straw. Uh, ooh, farmer's market. Nice. Better than the train yard. All right, we'll go to the farmer's market. Oh, they're selling it. Never mind. Dang it. Uh, so the best place is that stinking train yard. All right, off to this little train yard. I can't stay in the train yard on this map. The unload zone ugh, drives me nuts. That's all right. We'll make it work. Uh, hey, Frosty, I found out what wrong with PC HDMI ports going to graphics card, and it's my birthday. Well, happy stinking birthday. And, yeah, you got to make sure the HDMI goes into the graphics card, you jackwhacker. Jeez. See, I told you. Watch some videos, and you'll figure it out. That's what YouTube's there for. There's so many little tips on how to do things. I'm glad you got it fixed, though. And happy birthday, sir. I'm um, liking the background tunes tonight, Thomas. Good old country music. Good old country. We got Jacob Nukestia. Dropping five Big Rig Frosty gaming memberships. That is Mr. Nukestia. He's sending one to Mia Lazzarin, Adam Jensen, Chance Calouette, Jeremy Green, and Eric Landers, all getting gifted memberships from Mr. Nungstia. Thank you, Mr. Nungstia. You are appreciated. You like that? Uh, Joshua Millsaps also celebrating one year and one month as a Jack Whacker says, Good evening, Frosty. Good evening, Mr. Millsaps. Hello there. Uh, thank you very much, Jacob. Appreciate you, Daddy. And thank you to everybody who sent gifted subs last night and super chats. Usually I say thank you before the end of the show, but the show came to an abrupt end. So just want to say thank you to everyone who did that last night as well. Thank you, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Kevin Flores. See, I noticed he was in the chat now instead of an hour later. What's up, Mr. Flores? Waylon Timlick. Hello, hello. Templars has finally caught you live. Frosty just started watching a few weeks back and love your content. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Glad you enjoy it. I do appreciate that. Becky Pfeiffer, how the heck are ya? Becky's got a rooster. That means she's been here over a year. Yeah, rooster is over a year. The hen, if you have like a... A golden looking hen with like orange feathers that's six months and then if you got the golden rooster oh, 
There's not very there's not very many of those in the chat. There's a there's a couple. There's a couple. All right. So last time, or maybe two episodes ago, I put a ramp in. I might do it again because that worked out pretty stank good. So. Dang it. We're going to have to spend a little money, but it'll be worth it. I'm going to throw another ramp. Maybe I'll do a different ramp. Though. Holy crap. That's more than a little ramp right there. Uh, that's too low. That one eh, could work. That's too high. Nope. Uh, yeah, we'll use this one here. That's cheap enough, too. It's going to get it right close to the edge. Alright, so I spent a little bit of money. I'm just tired. This is just the dumbest zone ever. So I got to put little ramps up. It just makes life easier. That's what I've. That's what I think. Don't you agree? Do you agree it's easier this way? Yes. Yes. Much nicer and much easier. I don't know if it's nicer looking. It definitely works better for me. To deliver it. Alright, so then I can, like, pull in and... Get all situated there. That's right. You like it, don't ya? Turn this into my own rail yard. All these silly weird deliveries on top of train cars. I ain't got no time for that. Uh, other problem is, can I lock my trailer? <laughs> Should. Doesn't look like it's gonna let me though. You're supposed to be able to lock the trailer so it goes straight. I totally forget what the keybind for that was. The axle lock. Uh, hello, Nick DeBar. We got Bradley Simmons and Nick DeBar coming in with gifted memberships. Thank you. Bradley Simmons sending one to Nick DeBar. And then Nick DeBar sending one to Bradley Kaufman. Look at all the love going around. It's nice. I like that. It's nice. That was very nice. Yeah, can I lock this? You're at 33 months for supporter for a Facebook streamer. Hopefully I'll be there for you someday. All right, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> hey, brother. How the heck have you been? It has been a long time. Andy Simmons. What in the world? I have not seen you in a long time. Andy Simmons is in the house. One of the original FARP members. He was the A in FARP, ladies and gentlemen. That was Andy Simmons. How the heck are you, Daddy? What's up, Solar? Wesley Bowman? Hello? Hello? Uh, tomorrow's my one year being... Well, thank you, Ghost. One year, huh? Auto Sim Cruise in the house. There's no way I'm going to be able to back this thing in. I'm going to see if there's a keybind that I forgot. For the axle, I think I have, I've got to have, I always have that installed, just in case. <sighs> I don't know if I do, though. <laughs> axle block. It's like axle blocker or something. Arena mode, blah, 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 Contracts, course play, blah, 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 blah. Follow me, blah, 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 Holy moly. Player speed, lumberjack. Look at all these different scripts. My goodness. Real speed, real mower, placeable colors. There it is. Right Alt B. <laughs> right Alt B. Eh, it doesn't look like it's working, does it? It doesn't look like it's working. Alt. B. Chat. 
that. It's not working. It's making me do it manually. Ow. All right, we'll just have to do some precision backing. I'll just have to show off my backing skills here. You little turd. This is not going well. Oh, boy. All right. I'm about to flip out here. All right, we're just going to... Drop those little turds right there. And you know what? There should be a fork left over at this place anyway, right? Let's see here. We'll we'll this will be the only thing we lease on this series. That's it. This is the only thing we're gonna lease. And it's gonna be something to handle bales okay because the bales always sell better over here but uh i need a way to need a way to do it you know what i mean so let's see here let's get we'll just get another one of these they're cheap um we'll lease that for 2300 a month and then I'm going to need a bale spike to go with it. Wheel loader, manual. Actually, we'll do automatic for this. Let's make it go a lot quicker. Yeah, make it go quicker. There we go. Lease. And it's lease to own, too. So eventually we'll own it in the future. But All right. Get all that crap put on the uh, cell point there. How's things been f with fighting? It's been a long time since seeing you. Since fighting? Did I get into a fight? What you talking about? Uh, Buck Clark? What happened to Buck? Mark Libby sending a gifted sub to Buck Clark. Come on down. That's Buck Clark getting a gifted sub for Mark Libby. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Gus to do it the old-fashioned way to earn. I know, Jim. I don't want to, though. Dang it. Let's get this all the way up. Yeah, we'll lease to own this. And it can pick up three at a time. When you're not running other ones over. drop it. All right, 1450, about 1500 bucks per uh, scoop. We'll be rich. We'll be rich in no time. Not really. It's not paying that great, but hey, it's straw. We don't need it, so we'll make some money on it. make it hold more. Probably could. I wonder if it does more than three. Cool if we could stack like five of them bad boys. Uh, what's up, Ronnie Gold, Eric Varnes, Bradley Kaufman playing farm sim myself, he says. Very nice. Sorry, Frosty, talking to Fire Slain. Oh, gotcha. Uh, Gus to do it the old, uh, but you said no leasing. I Well, I need one. I, we need one doing. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck here all night doing it by hand. So I just had to make a quick decision. So. It is what it is, Daddy. I'm just gonna have to get over it, Duan. Just gonna have to get over it. I'm just gonna have to cry me a river. Okay, Daddy. Don't forget to. What? Yeah, what he said. Uh, Frosty Rage. What's up, Elizabeth Sturdy? How are you? Need to buy a forklift for the rail yard. I got this. We're gonna use this. Because I'm not really gonna sell much product over here. 
the sell everything usually has better prices for pallets. It's just like bales. The bales always make more money over here. There we go. Big old loader. Yeah, I like this thing. 45 grand. But yeah, I didn't want to lease anything, but, you know, I'm not going to drive mine all the way over here every time I got to load something up. I'd be boring as stones sitting at the bottom of a lake. And that's pretty boring because you never really see those stones sitting at the bottom of the lake. Ah, what's going on? Sure is nice. Hey, uh, hey fork you have there. Uh, yep. Thank you, Ronnie. Whew. Some of you need to check your spelling before you send your messages. Dang, Bobby. It's rough. When are you going back to Stone Valley? Stone Valley? When am I going back to Stone Valley? That's been done for like a half a year. It's been like six, seven months ago. I ain't going back to that. <laughs> that's that's over, brother. <laughs> all right, we're all done here. 26 grand all together. We came over here with 21 grand, but we also leased this for close to three grand. So we made like 10 grand in bales. Not too bad. Not too bad. Still not enough to uh, get a production. <laughs> we need 70 grand to be able to get the straw production. So might not be able to get it right away. The good news is when we fast forward time, we have a whole nother field that's close to being ready to harvest. The big one, the one that goes across all three properties. That'll provide a bunch of straw and hopefully by then we'll be able to sell our bales on this next field we're going to do. Sell whatever the sawmill makes. Sell wool and honey. Man, we'll be, we'll be slam bam, thank you, man, you know. Money will be flowing. It'll disappear quick, but at least it'll be there. We'll, we'll spend it. Uh, Jim, unique sell point, but not the most efficient. It's not efficient at all, but it does look cool. I do like the way it looks. But yeah, it's not efficient for uh, deliveries, for auto load deliveries. All right. All right, head back over here. There's our canola field we uh, harvested on Friday. Oh, nice. It's going to need mulched. Like the mulcher, I got to get that mulcher soon because I don't think we can plant anything in the month we're in right now, but I can plant another canola field in August. So I'm hoping we bring enough money in to get the mulcher now and then enough money once we fast forward time to get the straw production. That's a lot of money, though. That's like a hundred grand I need to bring in between now and the next month. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. Right, we're going to bring in some more straw bales now. Get to it. Got this big old field over here that needs knocked out. Jacob Nunkstia celebrating 18 months. As remember a few months ago when I thought I was halfway to two years on here. Happy Tuesday, Frosty. Is that a year and a half? A year and a half of support. It's a long time there, sir. I'm gonna reset the counter. Control M. Thank you, Jacob. That's a long time, brother. This is a long time. What happened with the stream last night? Internet. Internet went out. I made a post right after. Uh, hey, Gene Edwards. What's going on, Jeannie? Carter must have had a long day. He fell asleep not long after school. And I'm watching on my cell phone out in my shop while working on my show truck. I don't know if you've ever... Uh, told us about the old show truck. What kind of show truck we talking about, huh? Huh? How fancy is it? Yep. 
Ian, I saw there was an update to uh, that Australian map. I figured you'd be all over that on the Mod Hub today. Forget the name of it. Australia something. Something. It's a big boy map, I think. It had some type of update to it. Yeah, that field right to the left. That thing's going to be ready to harvest, I think. Um, when we skip to the next month. Yep, 7 of 7. So next month, this field of wheat will be ready to harvest. And that field is a whopper. Look at the size of it. It's this field right here. It goes across all three properties. Oh, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice! Yeah. But yeah, straw is not a problem. We're gonna have plenty of straw. And I got quite a bit of honey uh, loading, piling up. I might not sell the honey and wool until next month then we'll have more of it to load up and sell. There's quite a bit over there. What's up, Scott J. Douglas? I thought you didn't want to use these bales anymore. No, these are just regular square bales, Ian. I don't want to use the Heston bales anymore. That's a modded baler that makes custom bales. Yeah, these bales I'm fine with. These ones work great. It's those Heston bales. They're all jacked up. How can that field be a whopper? It doesn't look round. Oh, Mr. Hoffman. Uh, anybody else want to just smack his nipples off sometimes? Come on. Around that corner. Down on the corner, out in the street. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Heston Baylor is on the mod hub. Just, you gotta keep in mind, it makes custom type square bales. They're not like the base game ones I'm using right now. Or I'm creating, I guess, whatever you wanna say. Yeah, they're uh, different. Yeah, these ones handle pretty darn good. Yeah, they should add Heston Bales to the arena mode. Oh, that would make people, like, uninstall Farm Sim. If they had Heston Bale Arena Challenge, I would uninstall the game, I think. That would be a complete nightmare. <laughs> what happened to your sound effects? Missing the honka tooties and yeah babies. I, I don't do it every, like, five minutes. Yeah, then, then everybody would have a migraine. But they're there. Why, would you like one? All you gotta do is say, please. There you go. Who said that, honey? Was it worth it? Oh, Scooty, my financial advisor, Scooter's workbench. She said, honey, wasn't worth it. Well, you know what? It is. It's only gonna take about four months to pay off the whole beehive building that cost I think 25k or 30k I forget how much I paid for it but it, it'll only take about four months to pay that off yeah sometimes he doesn't know what he's talking about he's kind of like me he just likes to blow a little smoke but he doesn't always know he doesn't always know you still around says watchdog mouse mouse yeah mouse is always in here hiding somewhere in a little corner uh, dar too far. Dar too far. Welcome to Big Break Faust of Gaiman. You're a brand new member. Brand new Jack Wagger. He's got a little egg there, ready to hatch. Give it some time and it'll hatch and crack and turn into a little baby chick. It'll be so nice. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Alright, this is, this is our second biggest field. So it goes the big mama one I just showed you on the map. 
That's the biggest. This is the second biggest. And then the one right across from us is the third biggest. And then we got two little fields at the front yard. So we got about five fields that were uh, actually prepped and ready for precision farming that we created. It's a nice little farm. I like it. Once we're really bringing in the big bucks, we'll buy more uh, land extensions around our farm, and then we'll have, you know, more ground to work. I think they'll be lovely. Hey, Frosty, do you get your games from Steam? Usually, I'd say 95% of the time it comes from Steam. I'll occasionally get something on Epic, or occasionally there's games out there that they're not on Steam or Epic. They like run through their own website, but I, I usually don't mess with those type of games too much. But yeah, Steam is the bulk of where I get them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is correct. to cruising. How many bales we at so far on this field? 12. Nice. Already knocked out 12 big ones. I took out uh, I took out the unit convert for a little bit. You can deactivate it, activate it whenever you want. I took it out. So we're back to just running leaders. I just needed a little break from the, the bushels and pounds and tons. Gotta simplify my brain a little bit, you know how I am. So yeah, we're back on just the in-game units. So one straw bale pumps out about 9,000 liters of straw. There is a crap load of straw laying on the ground there. It's a 1996 GMC Sierra, all original with only 60,000 OG miles. Looks like it did when it was sold new. I bought it from an old guy who was the original owner. Come on, Jason. That's what I like to hear. Would you like a yeah, baby for that? Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. There you go. How's that, Jen? Is that better? Jen? Does it make you happy to hear the yes, baby? We're gonna get way more bales out of this than the first field we did, which means more money. I just need like five more grand so we can get our brand new mulcher. I'm gonna go with the Horsch from the Horsch DLC. It's affordable and it's almost nine meters wide, which is perfect and it's affordable. I did look into the couple that some of you in the chat told me to look into. Uh, there was the new mulcher that came to the mod hub like on Monday or something. It's like 60 grand. And then I looked up the Mack Trucker one you guys were talking about. That's 140 grand. I ain't paying 140 grand for a mulcher. I mean, it was cool looking, but I ain't paying that. So I'm gonna get the horse one for like 30, 30,000 bucks, I think it said. We gotta be smart with our spending. Cause we don't have a lot of money on the survival series. We're barely surviving. You're welcome, Jen. Howdy, J Drum Master. Austin Wall, hello. I like the texture of that tractor seat. It looks very real. Yeah, the fabric is ready to absorb any daily things that happen while you're farming. You know, the occasional toot. The fabric just sucks it all in. You can see it. You can almost feel the fabric. It does look good. You're right. It looks very nice. Even the fabric on the ceiling. Like, look look at the detail. Isn't that nice? Just makes you want to rub your head on it. Your bald head. The fabric, the plastic, the floor. I mean, it's just, it's nice. It's a nice little tractor. I, I do like it. This is our workhorse tractor. It's got 7.1 real hours on it. This thing's been getting things done. And we got the Kloss hoodie on tonight. 
farm sim hat, class hoodie with our class tractor. Cowboy boots and jeans. Got my leather gloves on in case I need to slap the cows. <laughs> Wish we could turn off political ads on YouTube. Oh, it doesn't let you. You're getting ads? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you have to be a premium YouTube person or something, right, chat? I don't, I don't, I'm not a premium. But I think if you're a YouTube pre premium, you don't have to look at ads or nothing, I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't mind looking at an ad and skipping it. I think, like, after five seconds, you can skip the ad half the time. Prop instructions on. Gotta be careful. Wanna collect every smidgen of straw on this field chat. Because it's money in our pockets. We don't wanna let it go to waste. Are you saying you have a bald head? I mean, my hair's thinning. My forehead keeps getting bigger each year. Yeah, it's definitely not getting any thicker, that's for sure. You don't get ads, Miss Firesland? Good. Good. You can get the John Deere mower that mulches for 15. I don't want that. I've used it so many times. But you're right, Stephen Collins. Yeah, the Batwing John Deere. I just have used it so many times. I try to, I try to mix up equipment as much as possible. Like, we've never used this tractor before. Um, we've never used the mulcher I'm going to buy tonight. I just try to mix things up when I can. But you are absolutely correct. The John Deere Batwing's cheap, affordable, and gets the job done. Like this baler. This baler only costs 12 grand. It's a no-brainer. You got to get it. You got to get it when you're first starting out. Yeah, right. Final stretch. Got about five swipes to go. Yeah, I don't think anybody actually likes them, Mia. How much gray hair do you have? I'm starting to get some big gray hairs in my beard. I don't even pluck them out anymore. I don't care. Let them, let them be in there. Who cares? A little salt and pepper never hurt. Plus, they're too hard to get into because my beard's all chunky and shaggy. It's hard to get the specific hairs out of there. So I just let it go. Whatever. There are two mods on the Mod Hub that let you convert the field rollers from the... I know. I know, T-Sharp. Yeah, there's the Mack Trucker one, and there's there's actually more than... There, there's a lot more than two. But yeah, they're all super... A lot of them are very expensive. Yep, grassland mulching. Yep. I'll show you. I, I got them installed. They just cost too much. So these were the ones I was going to look into. Uh, this one's 60 grand. This is the one that just came out recently. And you can have it set up as a grass roller, a field roller, or a mulcher. But it's sixty thousand dollars. No, thank you. And then the the Mack Trucker one's hundred and forty thousand dollars for a mulcher. I don't need that. It's cool. It looks awesome, but I don't want that. So we're gonna end up buying. Where is it? Mulcher, mulcher. We're in, we're gonna end up buying uh, this guy, the Cult Throw 9 TC. It's nine meters, only requires 240 horsepower, which I think the Colossus can handle. I might have to put a weight on the front of the Colossus. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's got 275 horsepower, so we'll see how it does. Hopefully it gets the job done. If not, we have our big case tractor, which has a crap load of horsepower. It'll pull it. So that's what we'll end up getting. It's the cheaper one. 
You feel me? Alright, couple more swipes. So the old American farming series that we were doing last night, next time we do an episode of that, we are just leaving right off where the game crashed or where the stream crashed. We were in the middle of a delicious, beautiful sorghum harvest, and I don't want to really skip that. So we're just going to pick up right where we left off uh, next time we stream that. I was bummed out, man. I was like halfway through that field, all happy and excited. And then the stream just crapped on me. All right, let's get these out of here. And that is it for the baling. We might we might make some grass bales later if we have time. We should be good on time. Because we'll be cutting that new section there with the uh, swather. That's good for now. How are we all? I'm doing good, Weed Fingers. I'm doing good. Ray will take over a day rest. Uh, that's the only baler I use for straw. What's up, Myrtle the Turtle? Hello, Mr. Vanderford. Popping in to say hi, Frosty Chat. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a splendid day, Mr. Vanderford. My stream's actually working today, so that's a plus, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I get pretty I get pretty bummed out when the stream shuts down. Not my favorite thing that happens. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see. So that's our silage baler, the Massey. And then that's our grass. Uh, grass for sheep and straw. And hay. I make all kinds of bales with that bad boy. I reckon I do. All right, let's get these all picked up. And we're going to sell these also. bad boys out here. I forgot to look how many there were. It'll tell us once we pick them all up. Looks like there's close to 30 at least. It's double the load. The Power Roll 1230 HD multi low will run you 41 grand and only needs 160 at 12 meters. Right. Yeah, but isn't that the, uh, that's the end game one? I, I don't, I, boy, if I don't have it installed, yeah, I don't think I even have it installed, buddy. So, yeah. Irrelevant for me tonight anyway. But I don't like the end game rollers because they don't lift. They stay down on the ground. I can't stand that. And I don't need a roller. I need a, I just need a mulcher. I have a mod that gets rid of the need to roll. I tell you what it's called, but I forgot. <laughs> it's called, uh, I forget what it's called. I think it's for PC only. Dang it, I can't remember what that darn mod's called. Seed bed reconsolidation. Yeah, that's what it's called. So that removes the need to roll the fields, because I, I can't stand rolling. It is so boring. The texture's boring. I just don't like it. All right, so we got 26 bales on here. A little less than I thought, but uh, still a good chunk. We're going to run over to the store and get these sold. And hopefully, I know that'll be enough to get our new mulcher. Ah, oh, you're all right, Dakota. How's it going, buddy? What harvester did I buy? Uh, a John, it's a John Deere. It's parked in the shed. If I remember, I'll show you when we get back. But I will probably forget the same. Yeah, we got a decent... I think it's a 9600. If memory serves me correctly. A 9600 uh, John Deere harvester like an older school style one like a 80s or maybe it's a early 90s I don't know it's pretty nice though uh, 
getting too old to worry about it. Yeah, do Ann, exactly. Too old to worry about it. Not worth it, right? Just let them gray hairs grow, who cares? You can pick it up and it can be reconfigured for field. Yeah, yeah, dust bunny, yep. I just, I just showed you guys that. I literally just showed you all. Are you guys not watching me or something? I literally just showed everybody. There's the Mega Roller 2430. And it's 140 grand. Unless maybe he has a smaller one. I just don't have it installed. But I just, 140 grand, I, that's too much. That's the big daddy one. Yeah, if he has a smaller one, that's cool. I just don't have it installed. These are too expensive. The end game one is not bad, but eh. this one can lift. I think this one does lift. But that is a roller. I don't want a roller. I want a mulcher. So my only options for mulchers are this one, 5.8 meters, and then this one. This is the most affordable one out of the rest. And then these ones. So, yeah. Yeah, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sir. Uh, the Powerwall 1230 is a smaller one. Yeah, I don't have it. I do not have it installed. <laughs> also started to save along with you and started out 3436. Got my campsite out in the woods between 35. Nice. I finally remembered to install uh, Scooter's fire pit his campfire onto this mod folder so I might shove that down on the ground next to my cabin so I can have my nice fire all right here we are at the train yard we're gonna live unload these on the ground and then fill them up with the truck big old Volvo there shove these right here out of the way and sell some more bales I don't know I wonder if this thing can hold more let's double check oh we leased it never mind that's fine all right here we go yeah some first person action auto load makes it easy for me to do first person <laughs> drop it like it's hot oh alrighty not sure what the heck just happened there what the heck weird maybe we won't go in first person <laughs> what's up Tony Martic what's up Tony Tony Baloney how you doing tonight <laughs> good evening Floyd Staten gear what does the malter do to the field <laughs> it mulches the field. And there's your tip of the night, ladies and gentlemen. The mulcher mulches the field. How oh, you like that answer, Mr. Hoffman? Does that help you out at all? <laughs> it just uh it just kinda mulches up. You know what a mulcher does? It like mulches things. So it kind of uh takes all the stubble after a harvest and it mulches it all up and it gives you a little 2% bonus before you uh, either direct drill or cultivate whichever one it be yeah sure I'm pumping in that money $1,500 a stack I'll take it Get in. 
Simulation station says evening, Frosty. What does a tether do? A tether flips the grass over to dry so it can turn into hay. Uh, what's up, Sir Frosty? What's up, Paul Edward Detweiler? You like the best answer? That was a good answer. Hey, I answered exactly what you asked. You said, what, a, what does a mulcher do? And I kindly responded, it mulches. really no other answer to that. Mulcher mulches, the cultivator cultivates, the harvester harvests, the seeder seeds, the roller rolls, the mower mows, the plow plows. I mean, what do you want? I mean, come on. Come on, Joshua Hoffman. Come on. I mean, I'm here for as much knowledge as you need. I'm right here for you, Daddy. Who would have thought? I don't know. What does the fox say? <laughs> I'll let you handle that one, one stack. It's all you, bro. All right, so we have enough money for the mulcher, and we'll have a little bit of leftovers. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Might break 40 grand almost. Be close. That man, I'm liking it as well. The cows moo, the pigs oink. That's right. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hoffman set himself up for disaster with that question. What does a mulcher do? Well, it mulches. Oh, <laughs> that sounds right. Thank you. Thank you for the tip there, Frosty. Thank you. Hey, honey, guess what? The mulcher mulches. Oh, really? That's great, darling. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, final load. Bloop. All right. Ooh, look at that. Just a hair under 40 grand. Just a smidgen. Uh, the chickens do cluck. You're right. Glenn Med coming in with the five dollar super chat. This is found out last night. If your game crashes and deletes your save game, there is a backup folder you can recover your game from. Just copy and paste. <laughs> yes. See? Now that's information that's worth uh, listening to right there. That blows Joshua Hoffman's stuff out of the water. We all know the mulcher mulches, but did you know you can you can fix your, your broken game chat sometimes. It doesn't always work. But it is a it is an option. You are absolutely right, Glenn. I'll be back later. You better, man. You better hurry your butt up and get back soon. Chickens for quack? Yes. One stack, Mac, go. I'm going. Jeez, slow down. Right. Chevy only goes so fast. It's a Chevy. I mean, what do you expect? If it was a Ford, we'd already be back to the farm, right, chat? I'm just trying to start a war. I could care less. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Isuzu. I could care less. As long as the darn thing runs gets me from A to B, I consider it a job well done. All right, bales are done for the moment. I'm gonna park this little piece of crap right here. All right, we'll take the truck with us though. All right, how about we get our mulcher? Because I'm excited to blow some money. I think I reset the store last time, but we'll reset it again just in case. Alright, All right, so we're paying hard, cold cash for this guy right here, the Coltro 9TC. 35 grand? 
We're going to set this bad boy to go about 15 mile an hour. Additional weight. No, I don't need that. That'll make it too heavy. All right, that's going to be 35 Gs right on the money. Bye. Slam bam, thank you, ma'am. All right, hopefully the class can handle it. If not, we'll get a, uh, a weight for the front of the tractor to balance. But it might be fine without it. We'll see. Fix or repair daily. This truck does sound incredibly nice. It's not bad. A Ford will always get the job done, says Anderson Brothers Landscaping. Ford would be found on the roadside debt, says Jay Jump. Oh my, see, I knew. I knew if I mentioned uh, anything being better than the other, that there would just be a war, you know? If it were a Ford, it'll be dropping a trail of parts all over this map, just like a John Deere. Ain't that right, Scooty Pooty? Just like a John Deere. I tell you what, you get a Ford and a John Deere together, you got a broken situation. How's that? You like that, Daddy? All right, I'm going to park this over here for now. Let her cool off. She's been working way too hard. Way too hard. Oh. Good baby. Good baby. We got enough money to put a campfire in. Very important we have a campfire. Uh, let's see. Yeah, campfire is like priority one. Production generator. I can't remember. <sighs> Buildings. Where the heck's the campfire at, Scooter? I don't remember. What like category is it in? I totally forget. Container? I mean, a fire's not really a container, but you never know. I don't know. It'd be hiding in there somewhere. I thought it'd be under tools. Flip over, read directions, Decor decorations. Oh, yeah. Oh gosh, this is gonna take a while to find. Unless it's cheap. If it's cheap, it might be towards the front. Oh, brother. I've got so many decorations installed. Oh, mama. Oh, oh, there she is. There's my campfire. Uh, where should we shove that? Not too hot, not too close to the house. Right here's good. Landscaping, painting. Go. And then uh, maybe a little bit of mud through here. Uh, a lot of mud through there, yeah. And right, then I want like uh just like these wooden benches, if I can find them. Like little, they almost look like a cabin bench. I don't know, like natural. You know, you'll know. You know what I mean when I when I throw it down. Yeah. Where are you? Yeah, I got got a little too many de decorations, huh? Yeah. That might be it. Yeah. Put one right there. And one right there. Come over to Frosty's house and hang out. We'll, 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 we'll talk about all kinds of fun things by the fire. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yes. yes. You know you like it, don't you? The benches that look like a half a Lincoln log. Yeah, I like these ones. Uh, maybe some camp chairs. These are my camp chairs right here, John. See? They're made out of wood. I like it. All right, we'll knock that out, though. No, more, no, no time for partying. We got work to do. All right, cool. Let's get her done. 
So we're going to go get the Colossus and just kind of test out our Mulcher. Hopefully it works. I did catch King Salmon today, and it was a very good day of fishing. Ooh, what a nice core. Put a bush in the middle, too. Now, maybe some camp to building yourself a nice uh, little home. Now, you like that, Mr. Sim Station? Isn't that nice? Nice and cozy. Yeah, Sim, I can't remember if you were here last time. I don't know. I put in this grain mill here. We put in this, we decorated this whole area. So that makes our oil and flour from our canola and our wheat and barley. So I put that on the road there. And of course, the sawmill's going strong. But yeah, if we can save up enough money by the end of the stream, which I don't know if we will or not, I think we can. Then we'll get another new production. Straw. Straw processing production. Ah, oh, yeah. No problem. This tractor's a beast. I love this tractor. It does everything. All right, so here's our new mulcher. Let's test it out on our canola field. Mulchy mulchy. That's a beast. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. That'll be just fine. Not a nice. They do Bama's down. Oh, is there a football game on? I've been quite enjoying the white farm map after I sold all the animals except for my chickens. Come on! I should be sleeping for work, but I want to watch you to the end. Oh, whew. you you gotta get you gotta get some sleep, Mark. Don't worry about me. Yeah, we're we're nowhere near done, so don't make yourself a grumpy guy at work tomorrow because of me. Don't do it. Set up GPS steering. Get some uh, nice straight lines going here. 29.20 feet. That set. mulching up that stubble. Hmm. Joshua Hoffman, can you tell me what does the mulcher do? What are we doing right now? What's the mulcher doing? Can you tell me, Daddy? I want to know. Hmm, satisfying. It's like giving the field a haircut. You had a nap earlier? Okay, okay. All right, then you're good to go, I guess. Good evening, Daniel Ricard. I'm doing well. Jeremy says I'm sitting here eating some blueberries. Ooh, what an ass. Don't eat too many. Start turning blue. Like Willy Wonka. A girl on the Willy Wonka movie. She turns into a big old blueberry. That was a good investment. What do you think, Chad? 35 grand for a nice working mulcher. I'm happy with it. We're gonna be running into the trees, so I'm gonna do one more lap this way. Jeez. 
We don't even need to go back and forth. We're almost done. Just keep going around. Always hire a worker to do the big boy fields. I just wanted to test it out on this little one. Works just lovely. Uh, I love me some mulch and I like it too. Wow, Windows 11 has made things very difficult for the half hearted computer user, but I win. Turns the ye that turns the field yeller. It does. Turns it yeller. If we look on our map, it'll show the mulched texture. See? See that? Purple means mulched. So there's just this little section that needs mulched right there. Yeah, I've always enjoyed mulching. Especially canola stubble. That's my favorite one to do. Uh, her name is Violet. Her dad says Violet. You're turning Violet and complains my daughter is a blueberry. Yep. Wow. You really had that rehearsed, didn't you? Just like the one he had at Georgia, he may be done for good. All oh, you guys talking football. I'm so lost on football talk. Because I don't watch it. Bossy, can you say hi to Gizmo? Gizmo. Hello. Hello, Gizmo. Is that your girlfriend's name? I thought, her, I thought your girlfriend's name was something else. I didn't know it was Gizmo. But yeah, tell Gizmo I say hello. Uh, let me see. What's up, William Bone? William Bone's in the house. What's that, Mike? You got Kevin Flores. Dropping $20 super chat. This is Frosty. What's your favorite thing your wife cooks? <laughs> oh, like he hasn't asked that one before, chat. Ah. Jack Wacker. Ah, uh, favorite thing she cooks. Let's see. I like her homemade macaroni and cheese. It quite delights me. I really want it. Uh, how are you able to keep your teenage kids from being so engulfed in social media and video games? It's been very easy. My daughter loves volleyball, loves being outside, swimming. Just doesn't really have time for it. My son used to be kind of heavy into video games, but now he has an obsession with fishing. He fishes day and night. Uh, well, not day and night, but he fishes. Like, he loves going fishing. So he's, he's outside and away from all that. I don't force him to or not to. He just, he loves being outside, and so does my daughter. Just, you know, they're just not into the whole social media and video games very much these days. And there is nothing wrong with that, right, chat? Uh, do you have strict rules in the house regarding electronics? Uh, yeah, there's like a, a limit. They're both limited to how much screen time they get for their own good, you know. But, yeah, we barely have to say anything, to be honest. I know, Jeremy. I was making a joke. I knew it was Whitney. I knew that. I was being funny, calling her Gizmo. I knew it was Whitney. Uh, Thomas Roger, good to hear, and congrats. What did Thomas Roger say? Frosty, the wife surgery went good, no cancer, and my seventh grandchild will be another girl. God! That's awesome, man. It's like awesome, awesome news there, buddy. Wife is okay. That's a, a cry of relief. Like happy tears right there, buddy. It's good stuff, man. Very, very good news. I think I answered all your questions, Kevin. Did I answer them all good? I hope I did a good job. Uh, Mike W. says, what are the right steps to do farming and more of a logger than farmer? So any help would be great. Uh, What's the steps? Uh, one second. Let me get this set up. 
two headlands, sharp, clockwise, generate. We're gonna hire a worker to do this for us. Uh, let's see. First waypoint. Boom. All right, we're gonna have them mulch because I have a bunch of logs that need sent out to uh, the sawmill. I need to get them out of this field so we can cut this field and make some grass bales. I might cut a few more trees down also, but we'll get started on it anyway. Oh, look at that guy working out there, getting her done. So I got like multiple piles here. Woo! Come on. Come on. Oh, my rope's not long enough, you said? I don't think so. Gonna make that thing fit. There we go. Shoved up in there. Boom! Get her done. First, you get a mulcher. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a hard question to answer because there's there's so many different ways to start out on farm sim. Um, most people just start on Elm Creek, and they start with all the equipment that's there and kind of do what it says or the tutorial when it loads up an elm creek for the first time and says would you like to do the tutorial say yes definitely say yes and it will kind of guide you through the basics to start out or if you go to your menu and scroll all the way down to the little book that has a question mark got everything you need to know what farmer do i want to be you just said you like forestry or do you want to be an animal type of farmer or do you want to be an agriculture farmer which is kind of what we're doing tonight with the field work and bales so it all just kind of depends what direction you're going in how to start all kinds of stuff here shop i mean it tells you everything it tells you everything you need to know about farm sim pretty much so i'd say read through all of that Harvest, line, plow, cultivate this, plant, roll, fertilize, harvest. Yeah. There's so many answers to that. Yep. You're welcome. Uh, what's up, Mr. Bambooski? Tell her how to Bambooski. Tell who Bambooski. Oh, there's Bambooski. Coming in with the 13 months. Of, forgot about my milestone chat opportunity. Just told my old lady. Oh, don't call her an old lady. She's not old. Ugh about how much time I spent with her with you hillbillies. She said, that's ridiculous. Ah. Don't call her an old ladies. Come on, Bambuski. Come on, be that Southern or Northern gentleman you are. Come on, that's, that's your lady, not your old lady. That's your lady. You think your old lady wants to be called an old lady? No, she wants to be called a lady. She says, baby. Here's how you should have put it. You said, forgot about my milestone chat opportunity. Just told my baby about how much time I've spent here with you ill this. She said, that's ridiculous. What'd she say? She better not say that's ridiculous. That is time well spent. Smack her upside the head. I'm kidding, don't do that. I didn't say that. <laughs> she said, howdy, internet people. There you go, there you go. Yeah, I don't, I, I hate the old lady thing. Ugh. It's like the last thing I'd ever call my wife. I don't, I don't do that stuff. That's my woman. That's my lady. I don't grab her and give her a big old smoocher and say, hey, old lady. She'd smack me. That's my woman, my wife, my lover, my friend. Talking about my best friend. That's a good song. Look at my mulching hired worker. He is a mulching like crazy. Joshua Hoffman's brain is like exploding right now. He's like, what is that guy doing with that mulcher? 
be like, what is he doing? What is that? What does the monster do? <laughs> That's got to be the dumbest question we've had in a while, chat. I'm sorry, Mr. Hoffman. That was a dumb question. I love you, though. What does the mulcher do, Frosty? Oh, my goodness. Alright, what do you think, chat? Yes or no? Yes or no? Do you think we can pick all these up in one go? I don't know if it's possible or not. I don't know if we can pull... Can we pull all that with this? I don't even know if these are allowed to pull that many logs. I don't know. Very, it's very, uh, I just wonder. I wonder if it's possible. Uh, Alan, thank you for the seven months. Yeah, baby. <laughs> thank you, Alan. <laughs> I call my wife sex pot sometimes. See, there you go. You know how it works. Well, it's not old lady. It's, well, either way, it's yuck. She should smack you for that. Uh, Wench, get me a glass of med. <laughs> no, Kevin. No. All right. I'm going to see if this is going to work. All right. I hooked up that little twig. That sweet spot, daddy. Ah! Right there. Very nice. Very nice. For sure. Dexter says no. William Bone says no. WD40 says no. Hmm. I showed them, huh, chat? Yes, I showed them. They're mind boggled right now. Like, how in the world did he do that? How you like that? How you like that? Uh, you should see the reaction it gets. Uh, I've been married 23 years, and my wife still introduces me as her first husband. Aww. <laughs> That's funny. This is my first husband. <laughs> and this this day and age, that's, that's something to be proud of there, brother. That is something to be proud of. Making it work, even through the hard times. Uh, Frank Jones, okay. Yeah, I showed you, didn't I, Frank? You could pull it if you had the D20. I can pull it if I have the K9390. But you're right. The Alice would... Eh, I don't know. I don't know if the D21 could handle that. What do you think, Pleasant? You really think the D21 could pull all that? It's, it's pushing the limits. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be fine, I bet. Look at that. That's how you get work done right there. None of that four logs per pool crap. <laughs> no. Get up in there now. There we go. Release. That's a big load of wood right there. Bloop. 63. 63,000 liters. What are we up to now? One more load ought to get that thing pretty much full. This is good. One more load, eh? Uh, that's the goal, to make it work. Just ordered my girl's ring. The Ooh, nice, Bradley. October, I'll be married to my lovely wife for five years. <laughs> Scooty is proud to be old. Hey. I'd be proud, too, if I was as old as he is. It's like, he's almost a relic. Uh, Josh Rutledge, thank you for your first ever super chat, laddie. That's his first ever. Thank you. This is Josh Rutledge. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Well, that might be a super sticker. I can't. Yeah, it's a super chat. Thank you, buddy. I didn't think it could hook up that many logs. It can't, WD. I edited it. I went in there and I edited the files so that bad boy can haul 10. Cause four is silly. Nobody wanna waste time pulling four of them bad boys. So I went in there and made it haul 10 of them. 
as we get her done. Ain't got time to mess around. All right. We do need to make a timeout. That guy already finished mulching this field and did a stinking really good job. He missed a couple spots. Kind of disappointed about that. Uh, he missed a spot right here on the corner. Very sad. cleaned up see if he missed any other spots look how nice and clean it looks after mulching it mm. Gosh. it's quite lovely isn't it yes. all right i'm also going to hire someone to mulch this big daddy while we finish up the uh logs all right so now we're going to do two sharp generate <laughs> It says it cannot be generated. Why well, not? Could not generate course. The log may have more information. You big old turd head. Maybe I need to be on the field more. Yeah, that's why. I wasn't all the way on the field. Sometimes it, sometimes it does that if you're not completely got the whole implement on the field. That's all that was. There we go. So he'll get that mulch looking all nice and beautiful while we go pick up some more trees. said at first Kevin they have hurt their finger and can't hit the like button oh yeah what's up with that 291 viewers and nobody hitting that like button you better smack that baby come on give it a good old slap it tap it don't be gentle either I mean I want you to hit that like button like you ain't never hit it before thank you you don't have to though just want to get you all hyped up for no reason so it's, it's totally up to you I'm happy either way okay all right, this one, we're gonna have to do two loads. Two, four, six, eight, ten. yeah. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, we'll do this one first. here and hook up these ones and this little baby right there I think I got them all right there I think we're okay uh oh it's stuck there we go control K alright another big old chunk of trees here Hey Frosty, what mod is it you're using to change the units from base game to yards, bushels, gallons, says Josh. That is called Unit Convert. Uh, it's a third party mod. You gotta get it from an itch.io website. I have the exact link for it in my Discord under FS22 links. So if you wanna join the Discord, if you haven't already, go head over there and go to the FS22 links section of my Discord and you will see the link for Unit Convert. You might have to scroll up a little bit, but it is there, I promise you. How many you pulling, says Christina? We are smart. Ten. Ten logs. Isn't that beautiful? It makes everybody happy. I love it. I posted a depict of me and my best buddy. Why, oh, your best buddy. Is that what she's called now? Okay. Okay. See how he fixed it, chat? See how he changed the wording? I put a picture of me and my best buddy. I didn't mean old lady. I meant my best buddy. Oh, Van Booski. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good fix. All right, I think we're loaded up. Yeah, we're at the max. So the rest of the logs are going to be overflow. Be some leftovers. Uh, what's the link to the Discord? Oh, right there. Streamlabs did it for you. 
Josh Rutledge, yep, exclamation mark Discord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, exploring with Redneck1998, how's things going? <laughs> Internet just shut down on me right in the middle of recording, finally back on. Don't you hate it when that happens? Trust me, I know. It happened last night, two hours into the stream, it just came to an abrupt end. Not because of Internet. Yeah, no fun. Stinking internet. And I got one more load to do. I apologize. I just want to get those logs out of the way. Then I can get the old swather. The fire of the old swather up, eh? Eh, cut some grass. Hello, located three. How are you? How's it going, buddy? Shawnee2469, hello. Zach Ryan in the house. Hello. I'm doing all right exploring. I'm doing good. Can't complain. Just chilling out on the survival series here. Yeah. All right. I think I have any uh, trees sitting out yonder. Yep, just these ones here. I don't even have, I don't need to use this tractor anytime soon, so we don't even need to run these over to the sawmill. I just want them out of the way, out of this field. Slippity. And we'll just, uh, we can park over here for now. Good enough. Right there. All right, we do need to feed the cows. I think they were a little low on some hay. Yeah, they're about 50%. We're gonna throw some bales in there. Let's get the gate open. Oh my, they're like laying on each other. Relax. Right. All right, so we own this one. We paid cash for this one, and we leased another one to keep up over at the uh, train yard, just because I am not driving this or transporting it over there every time. That is a headache. That's why we're doing it this way. All right, they're already filled. They're good on water and food, all the sheep. Need to top these guys off with some hay. And we're running manual forks on this one. Dropped it anyway. And dropped it again. Man, I am horrible in first person view. I don't know how you guys do first person view all the time. I don't even know if anybody does. <laughs> it is rough. There's like no deception at all. It is pretty rough. Alright, drop these on the cows. Now how they looking. Ah, we'll get some more. Let's go get some more hay. Get two more bales. Two more bales ought to do it. 60 miles north of North Charleston, says Kevin. What's going on in North Charleston? That thing for you an extra 60 miles after he... Oh, the, the jet. The guy in the jet that ejected. I don't... I don't... I always drop my bales. That's rough, isn't it? It's so difficult. Oh, we are running low on hay bales. This may or may not work. Oh, it does work. 
We'll get them all transported over there. This is the rest. This is all the hay we have left. And it'll be all right. I, like I said, I changed this. I think I changed the feeder on this one to hold, to hold more also. I can't remember. I've been editing a lot of stuff lately to hold more food and straw. Whee! They are topped off. Get these out of the way. Got about 7,000 liters left over for a rainy day. Flop those right here. There you go, guys. Enjoy. Enjoy. First person is, it's rough, it's rough. That's 100K of plane gone. Oh, the plane that crashed, yeah. That's, that's a lot of money gone. <laughs> More than 100, I think, right? Oh yeah, look at Streamlabs. I put in a new alert that pops up every once in a while. Look at that. Want more content? Subscribe to my other channel for shooter and survival style games. That's right, Call of Duty and many others. There you go, if you like pew pew type of stuff, that's my other little channel I created. Not for everybody, and I don't expect everybody to go over there and subscribe, but for those of you that do, go smack it, all right? Go do what you gotta do, you feel me? All right, so I fed them. Sawmill's full, looking really good. I think we'll be, oh, we gotta cut grass. Cut grass, cut grass, cut grass. Uh, we're actually good on grass for the sheep, like real good. So maybe we'll make hay instead. We're not gonna get much hay out of it though. Nah, I don't wanna do hay. This is our hay field. Anytime this grows back, we have hay. A Couple more months, that'll be ready to go. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna make, we're gonna get the old swather out with the big connection and just cut some grass. Oh, someone was asking about my harvester earlier. I forget who it was, I apologize. Uh, this is the harvester we bought on the previous episode where we did all kinds of harvesting. 9610 John Deere Maximizer. Things nice. It got the job done, sort of. It had a little trouble uh, dragging the header around, but I think it's because it's not compatible with that harvester. But it still got the job done. It's not very smoothly. It's slow. It was, it was like every time you drop the header, you're barely moving when you first took off. But once you got going, everything was good. Everything was awesome. Let's go cut that new section. Hired worker is almost done out there. He looks like he's got like two swipes. Look at that. Looking good. By the time I'm done with this, he'll be done with that. This ain't gonna take nothing but a minute. All right, real mower is on. Activate. Drop it like it's hot. And this isn't like a finished area yet. I'll still probably clear out some more trees. Baby steps. This will eventually be the plot of land for our big cow barn once we have enough money. For a little while, we'll just be utilizing the grass that grows here, the bales. There we go. Very nice. 
workers. Worker has completed their task. Didn't take long. I was even thinking about getting a cheap uh, forage wagon to keep filled with grass all the time to feed the sheep instead of making bales for them. Ah, it's not a big deal, is it? Doesn't take long to cut the grass. got going on. I got it. So thank you, Mark. You didn't have to, but thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Uh, let me see here. You forgot your JD service call, so the remotely disabled first gear for you. Yeah, that's what it felt like, too. Like, first gear was just taking forever to take off and everything. It was a good harvester, though. It held a lot of grain, which is what I wanted. Didn't have to empty it, like, over and over again. Seems nice. Uh, John Giblin, welcome to Jack Wacker Level 3! You maniac! Thank you, John. We appreciate that. This is John Giblin, ladies and gentlemen. Upgrading to Jack Wacker Level 3. That is the max level of membership. Thank you, John. Appreciate the extra support there, brother. Uh, Frosty, John Deere, Case, or New Hollands. I am not going to answer that question because I love them all. I really do. I don't. I don't care. I like them all. That's why you always see a variety. Like we got a Challenger Swather, we got a Case Big Tractor, we got a Kloss over there mulching. Um, we had a Massey. I sold the Massey because we didn't really need it. We got a Volvo front loader. Like I just mix it up. I don't care. It doesn't bother me what how it's done or what type of brand it is. I like them all. I like them all. Right. Boom. All right, let's go out there and get the class. It's all done. So all our fields that needed mulched got mulched. Looking pretty. So that'll give us our little yield bonus in the future. Suzette Bartlett, hello. Uh, Jacob Nukster, welcome to the blizzard. Imagine only using one brand of farm machinery. That would be, I, I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah. Like, even if I had a bunch of machinery, all the same brand, even that would get a little old. Like, I just love having a variety. I just love it. I really do. All right, so the plow is sitting over there. I'm going to back this up. Oh, let's wash off our new mulcher. We don't want to put it away dirty. Just spent 35 grand on that bad boy. Let's get a spray down. Come on. Keep that thing looking slick. You're broke. I'm down to $3,500. You're right. But don't you worry. It'll all come back. When we skip to the next month, which is coming up real quick soon, all we got to do is bale those grass swaths we made, and then we're skipping to the next month. Because I ain't nothing else to do until then. And then I'll be selling all kinds of stuff. Forestry stuff, flour, honey, wool. You name it, baby. I'm selling it. I'm selling it all. All right, let's go. Yeah, we'll get this dropped off right in here. Since we sold the Massey, though, this tractor has been getting a lot of extra work. 
been putting in a lot of hours on it. Uh, Dennis Giersch coming in with the 15 months as John Deere Green is the best color. He likes that. Likes that John Deere Green. All right, there's a little bit of straw in here. Only 29%, but it's going to turn into a grass bale, I think, because we're there's not much straw in there. We should get at least two bales. I'd like to get two bales out of this field, hopefully. Hopefully. Fold. Reset baler. Yeah, I don't know when it decides to switch it to another type of bale. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does just create whatever bale. Nope, see? Just turned. Yep, right there. Just turned it into a grass bale. Nice. So we got at least one. This is field weeds. We're not going to get any yield out of this. Just whatever it gives us. There are two colors of tractors, IH Red and Ugly, says Scooty. Oh my goodness. You're forgetting about orange, Alice. I can't believe you left out the beautiful color of Alice Orange. Mm -mm -mm. Pleasant View would be so upset with you right now for leaving out the color orange. Maybe massy, but definitely not green. You like John? Everybody likes John Deere. I swear, John Deere's the favorite. It really is. I've done votes before, and it's always John Deere. With a mass majority. The mass majority votes for John Deere Green. On a hot summer night. I do have a soft spot for AC Orange, yes. I thought so, especially since I have... I know, you got all of them. I never forget about Alice. Usually, almost every series I have, almost, almost all of them have at least one Alice tractor. Whether it's the D21, or the 8 series, or the 7 series, or the Gleaner... I mean, there's always at least one of them hiding around somewhere. That's why I took a break from them on this uh, series, because there's usually always one. Doesn't mean there won't be one added to this later. All right, nice. It's not bad. How many bales we get out of there? Three. One more than I uh, calculated. That's good. Bonus. And those bales can just sit out in the field. We don't even need to pick them up. There's no rush. Skip to the next day. Most of us prefer a specific brand because that was the brand Grandpa had. Yep. True. Yep. Whatever was in the family farm kind of is what goes. And whatever Grandpa told you is what you will grow up thinking about the other tractors. You know, it's in the blood. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Something tells me Scooter's Grandpa did not like John Deere. <laughs> He did not like it at all. And that is completely fine. We are all entitled to an opinion, right? Just drop that like it's hot. All right. We can go fast forward time. We'll sit by the 
campfire. Animals are all taken care of. Everything's pretty much taken care of. Just gonna sit here and relax. We'll put it to a thousand speed. Just kind of enjoy the daylight. Let's sit over here. I know I like sitting here. Sun's right over, uh, right over. This big thing's in the way. You can sell that. I'm keeping it. All right, now we got some nighttime fire going there. Very nice. Your grandpa like New Hollands. What is that old slogan? Nothing gets run over like a deer. Come on. 850 in property income. I don't see. I don't understand that. We're supposed to be getting like. $4,800 from our generator, and I'm only get I only got $850. What the heck's that all about, man? It don't make no sense. It doesn't make sense. All right, we'll stop at about 10 a.m. Eh, we'll go to 9 a.m. this time. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. All right, we're still sitting at $3,200. And this little grass aster grew in. Pretty nice. Let's go uh, take a ride in the truck, kind of look around. There is going to be some weeds in the fields we mulched. It ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. We have a direct drill, so no biggie. Alright, so there's our fields we uh, mulched. Cows probably need topped off with some food. That little grass field is slowly growing back now. Should have a crap load of honey sitting over here that we're gonna load up and sell. And then my big wheat field's ready to harvest. Yeah, look at all that honey. All that honey. I also have a 58 Ford 971 Selecto Speed that is for sale if anyone wants one. Oh, if I had any money, I'd get it. Sounds cool. I'm living on the edge these days. <laughs> uh, New Holland skid steers are beefy. Still the beefiest skid I ever ran. Oh. Frosty, I appreciate you having enough benches by your fire pit for, I know. There's a, all you could fit on those benches. Plenty of room. All right, we got lots of uh, wool we can uh, load up. Good. Grass field has, what, one more month to go? Yeah, next month this will be fully ready to cut. That's over here. Nice. All right, so first things first. I want to sell as much stuff as we can so we can uh, get the straw processing production. All right. So let's go load everything up. Load this stuff up first. Get a little closer. And a little closer, baby. There is 7,400 liters of wool. There we go. And we're gonna go load up the honey. We can cut through these fields. There's nothing planted in there. Just some little weeds. All right, I got a skit later. For. All right, Christina, have a good one. Appreciate you hanging out. Get you on the next one, all right? All right. 
we'll leave that partial pallet there. 5,600 liters of honey. And then we'll head over to the oil and flour mill. Load up some of them goodies. All right, so honey, I think we had to sell. We can't sell the honey at the sell everything. It doesn't let you for some reason, so. We'll have to probably go to the train yard to sell the honey. We'll see what the best prices are for everything. Dad always said, if it runs. <laughs> what? Uh, how many times have you fast forwarded the night and you still don't have a full pallet spawn point? It's because I've got a massive spawn point that can hold like 32 pallets, Scooty. Relax. All right, let's go get some flour here. This is our first uh, flower pallets we've made. First time selling it. Should be close enough. Yeah. Some oil. Yes. Canola oil, flour. Got to be more flour than that, right? Guess that's all that's gonna kick out of there today. Oh, yeah, see, I knew it, I knew it. No loading allowed unless, oh, stationary, there we go. Yeah, I bet you it'll pump out quite a bit of flour. Oh, loading area's full, okay. So that's all we can hold right now. Let's see here. Let's check our prices. Canola, train yard. Honey, train yard. Flour, train yard. Everything's going to the train yard. Sounds good to me. All right, off we go. Should be a decent chunk of money. For honey. Yeah, I don't know. I think we sold a little bit the one episode. But it should give us a good chunk of money here. We've only had it put down for like four months, maybe five. Steven, son, how are you, Stevie? I've not seen him. Buddy, how you feeling? Yeah, Stearman had a job interview. I need to ask him if uh, he ended up getting the job or not. I think he had to go do like a little tour. and I, th I think, I can't remember if he said he's officially hired or if he had to go do a like walkthrough first. Yeah, he's a busy guy these days. Don't really see him as much anymore. He's busy. That's life. Sometimes you get busy. All right, so I did make another ramp over here on the other episode. So this one, I should have traded. Yeah. That's all right. We'll make it work. This one actually, uh, with this trailer, we can get pretty close and unload. Just gotta get a run for it. Gotta put it in high reverse right there. Huh. Ow. There you go. There goes our flower. There goes our wool. Uh-oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get up on there. <laughs> Come on, 
Come, daddy. <laughs> All right, it works. It works, sorta. It's gotta get a little closer there. Oh, mama didn't like that. All right, mama didn't like that. Oh, uh, we gotta figure something out with this darn train yard. My goodness. I can't even use this and do a good job with it. Hi. I got a little more wool in here to unload. Nice, there we go. I don't even know. We had three grand, we just made $30,000. About $31,000. That's all I know. Is we made a good chunk of money. There we go. And that's without selling anything from the sawmill. Yeah, you know what we should do? Let's switch that. Let's put another ramp like that one. I think that'll work a lot better than this one. All right, so $692 back for that. Um, buildings, tools. Yeah, that'll that'll work way better. There we go. All right, that'll work better when we come back next time. <laughs> I'm always lurking, still waiting on the interview. They are still building currently, but should know something this week. There he is. There's Gumby chat. What's up, Gumby? Good, good, good. But yeah, I knew you were busy with kids and getting them to bed and getting them up early for school, carpool, you know, you know how it all goes. There's many of us that got that busy lifestyle going on, I totally get it. But love seeing you stop in when you can, buddy. You sneaky Pete with the clipping of the ramps into the train, the nowhere, you like that, or really in the dark one. You gotta be, you gotta use the imagination. You know, gotta do what we gotta do. I think that ramp will work much better on our next delivery. The other one had a little too much uh, height to it. Too much of a steep grade, I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get up in there, you know? Let's get the rest of the flour out of here. I bet you this thing pumps the flour. Oh, there's only two pallets left. Yep, that might be all that spawns. That's fine. All right, let's grab some prefabs, which are, I should have loaded those first they're huge yeah so now we're not going to be able to fit a whole lot on here hang it Big beams back here. We'll get the, as much big stuff on here as we can. Ah, see, loading area is full. Yeah, let me pick up a few planks. All right. So all this can go to sell everything. Chicka wow wow. is a much shorter drive right around the bend here I had a 56 Ford wish I still had it man I wish I had an old school car that's what I tell Miss Frosty it's an old an old pickup or an old just an old car not a hot rod just like an old pristine classic something to drive slow in you know like, I like driving slow it's kind of enjoy the view yeah, I'd love that all right, top right corner. We're on a mission to uh, get over $75,000 or something. 
Yeah, we need to hit over 70 grand. We're almost there. We're almost there. Take a look around. Almost got them enough money to blow on a straw processing house. We can make straw hats and straw accessories. Oh, it's gonna be great. I'm trying to decide where I wanna put it. I'm probably just gonna keep it on the right side of the road. It's gonna be like a, just all kinds of productions down this highway eventually. I might even turn this road into a road, like a legit looking road, maybe. Planks loaded up. A little bit more to sell here. Surprised it won't fill those up. There we go. Wood chip situation. I might see if we can load up some wood chips in the truck. See if it'll actually let me do it now. They know if it will or not. There we go. That is our final load. That's not gonna put us at 70 grand. <clears throat> it's not gonna happen. But we'll figure something out. Ah, uh, let me see. Van Busky, hey, my favorite hillbilly. Heavy Chevy working on the run. That's right. What's up, Nathan Weagle? Hello. I worked out a place with a union. Never again. Just take your money and don't do nothing. This is Jimmy Cox. I almost got in with the union when I was very young, like right out of high school. Uh, they kept me for just a hair under 90 days and then let me go. They were working the system. <laughs> Because if I would have hit the 90, I would have been official. But uh, I'm glad I didn't get that job. I was horrible. It was like a corrugated cardboard company or something. <laughs> it was bad. Ow! Oh, holy crap. That stuff is worth a lot of money. Well, I'll be darned. I didn't think it'd be worth that much. We have enough money for a straw processing production chat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think we'd have enough. Holla. Wow. That is like just enough. We're about to blow all that money real quick. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we can put our new production in, and we'll have $4,000 left over. Grand. All right. It's time to get creative. You ready? Northern, you were talking cars, weren't you? Or was I hearing things? They were. <laughs> I found a 74 Alfa Romeo GT5 in a barn a year or so ago. Lady was moving out of province, and I brought it home from her. Lots of work, but one day we'll drive. It's a father-son project. I don't know if my son has the interest for a, a car build. He might. I, he surprises me sometimes. I don't always know what he wants. Like I just never know what's going on in that brain of his, what he would enjoy or not enjoy. But yeah, he might. You might like that. I'll do it now. All right. We're going to put a straw processing thing like right here. We'll see how big this bad boy is first. Production. What's it look like? It's just a little building, I think. There it is. Nah. 70 grand. The straw processing production. Oh, yeah. Literally gonna put it like right here. Right on the corner, out in the street. We're gonna put it like right up against the road almost. There 
we go. All right, now we'll go into landscaping. to be quick. Cut that one tree down. to the small brush. Oh, it requires water, too. Oh, sneaky. All right, so we'll square this off here. So it needs water and straw. I went for a drive with my friend in his 57 Chevy. Yeah, baby, spend that money. That's right. <laughs> Get it done. Decorations. I didn't say it was going to be perfect. I'll, I'll redo the one part. straight it's just the grass wasn't straight all right so now we'll uh paint a little more Connect. See how you are. Alright, there we go. Alright. Get that cleaned up a little bit here. It's my Bob Ross moment, chat. You know how it is. You know how it is when I get into my zone, when I'm like decorating and stuff. You know how it is. Alright. 
grass. Good enough. Not gonna be perfect, but... We're driving around it, it'll look all right, I suppose. All right, so we got that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> all right, what else? I got money to blow on decorations. <laughs> oh, yeah. So serious. The serious stuff chat. You know? Uh, still going with the heavy Chevy. That Jack Whacker's back planting trees in the driveway. No, I'm not. I might. <laughs> I do need to get rid of this one, though. Do you need to get rid of that? That is bad for business, having a tree right in the middle of your parking lot. It's just not gonna, it's just not gonna fly. Shove that there for now. Pick that up on a rainy day. <clears throat> All right, so, kinda looks cool, I suppose. All right, I would like to put a, whatchamacallit, like a industrial type fence around it. I guess it doesn't have to be uh I was thinking like a gate fence. But no, nah, we don't need that. It's a yeah, we will. Yeah. There we go. Gotta give myself some obstacle course to deal with, you know? <clears throat> All right, so it's fenced in, kind of. It'll need some type of lighting, too. You need, yeah, lights, yeah. I knew you I knew you were going to say some lights, yeah. All right, lights, 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 camera, action. There. There. Those weren't too much money. I got these little bad boys. They're so hard to see, Scooter. I can't tell which way they're... There we go. We'll put one here. And one here. That'll be lights facing it at night. That'll look kind of cool. Alright, I think we're good, right? You guys happy with that? You're like, yeah. We were happy with it like 20 minutes ago, Frosty. Frosty, why are you taking so long? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Jamie White? Mailbox flag. Po oh, yeah, a mailbox. Good call. Yeah, let me throw a mailbox in here real quick. Uh, let me see, let me see. So much stuff. some clutter stop sign uh, 
let's see, let's see. <laughs> There's a mailbox. Shove the mailbox right here. All right, we got a mailbox, and what else was I saying? A f flag. Bam. There'll be room to get to that water. We gotta have a parking spot. Just got to. We'll go with the uh, big flag. We go with a old glory one. go and then finally if they're cheap enough like one decorative car it's got to be super cheap though because we're almost out of money <laughs> it's got to be cheap 40 yeah too much 40 i need to go in and edit those that's way too much 4500 a piece i can't afford that come on daddy don't make me broke yeah, I can't afford those cars. So that's it. I think that's it. Uh... Great, thanks, is Kevin. Great, thanks. What happened to YouTube? What's wrong? Stream's still running, right? Looks like it's running. Make you broke? You're already... Yeah, we, we're going broke. What's wrong, Kevin? What's Kevin upset about? Is he okay? Is the stream uh, giving him some issues? Oh, there's security cameras on, on the uh, building. That's cool. And then I did want one dumpster. Gotta have a dumpster to put trash in. All right, now we're good. Once I have more play money in the future, I'll uh, put a toy car here to make it look like someone's working. All right, so there it is. There's our little straw processing house production, whatever. You've got mail. Yeah, what do you think, chat? Yeah, look at there. We're going to make straw hats, some baskets and purses for the ladies. Oh, yeah, it's going to be nice. All right, cool. Now we can uh, get to work. Get to work, eh? Yeah, you think? $1,200 to our name? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's whip out the old harvester. Time to harvest some wheat. Right. Whoop. Fire up the database. All cylinders are a go. Let's proceed with our harvest. Yeah, yeah. Thing is a darn beast rider. Looks great, says Dustin Larson. Frosty, can you show me where in the settings it is to stop the harvester when unloading? I can't for the life of me find it. Uh, are you on... Are you using course play? Or just base game. I don't think you can change it on base game. So you want to stop the harvester no matter what when you're unloading. Is that what you're trying to tell me? 
You have to open the gates for straw pallets to spawn. It's not broken. Okay. <laughs> you have to open the gates. Okay. I also need to uh, make sure we put some water in there. Water's free, and so is the straw we're going to be throwing in there. Should have checked our animals before we started harvesting, but they should be fine. They should be just fine. Let me double check, though. Yeah, they're good. They're half. Half. Good. Beautiful. Course play. I want it to stop while unloading. All right, so you go in here. Uh, you go to C. Well, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm in a harvester right now. So you have to be in the harvester and then go to CP settings, vehicle settings for the 9610. So make sure you're in the harvester. And then uh, scroll down here, combine settings, stop while unloading. Mine's deactivated. You want to activate it. So it's always going to stop driving while unloading. That's all you got to do. But I don't like that. I wait till mine fills up and then I unload it. But that's how you do it, Daddy. Hopefully that uh, answers your question. Oh, yeah. We are gonna get a crap load of weed out of this harvest. And it's all pretty much gonna go in the silo because we already have the grain mill pretty much stocked up. Uh, sawmill looks great. Oh yeah, look at that, it's barely used any wheat. We can top off the flour mill, but then the rest is going in storage. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. It's gonna be so beautiful so the, our new straw processor makes straw crates straw accessories it requires straw and water so I got to remember to get some water up in there alright swath should be open unfold the header and get work come on get it done Come on, baby. Don't be shy. I'm <laughs> right. And we're off. Bang, bang. Thing's gonna fill up so quick, I can already feel it. Yeah. So this is our big baby. Our big giant field of wheat covers all three pieces of our property, like a, a section of it. It's a big, long field. Should get quite the yield on this. Ah, Scooty, am I gonna be able to put bales in that thing? Or does it only take loose straw? Oh, ha, ha, ha. If it only takes loose straw, that means we're gonna need a forage wagon. So I'm hoping it takes a bale. Does it take a straw bale? Have you tried that or do you know? Look at all that money just laying on the ground. You'll be ready to sell that money pit. That's supposed to be on the ground, you jackwhacker. My straw. Yes, sir, it will take bales. Woo, that's good, because, yeah, good. how much it holds. Look at the size of this heifer. That's a heifer of a field right there. <laughs> Thing is huge. I'm gonna make some straight, nah, we don't need straight lines. I'm customizing this one. It's all good, but custom harvest. It's 
such a good looking header. It is a nice looking header. It's very nice. Uh, thank you, Frosty. Didn't realize I had to be in. Yeah, you have to be in the harvester. Yeah. I did the same thing. I think someone in the chat helped me back when I didn't know how to do it either. I didn't realize you had to be in the harvester to uh, change the setting. So. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that. It's right across the street from us. How convenient. But we are fenced in. I, I put in a fence. I am. might not make it to the end of this... Uh, Cutting it close. Yeah, we're full. <laughs> I have an idea, though. We got a pretty big pipe. I can just bring the truck on the other side of the fence. <laughs> oh, yeah. 11,818 liters of wheat. Go get our big truck. It's not very big though. It's very small. Our little beat up Ford. She gets the job done, I reckon. We can even multitask. Look at this. Give me a load of high quality H2O. Oh! Wrong way. Dang it, Bobby. Got some rough brakes. Go. All right, we're preloaded with uh, water. Won't be much, but it should be, should be enough to get it started. I don't like that with CP. You can't get a default setting for your vehicles. You have to set every single one of them. And every time you start like a new map, of course. You gotta do it all over again. Yeah. That's what I always forget. Like when I start on a new map, I think it's gonna remember everything, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. All right, here's our new uh, production we put in. We're just gonna dump a little water where it says to. Right in the corner here. Oop. Almost had it. Oh, that's a very picky trigger. Jeez. Holy smokes. Like, barely. That is small. That water trigger is tiny. All right, so it's got a little bit of water in there. And Scooty said something about opening a hatch somewhere. what he meant. Oh. So we'll activate both, I guess. Let's see here. Nothing shows up for that. Nothing shows up for that. What did you say to open? This thing here, I'm not getting any uh, triggers for it. Oh, uh, there's a switch on the wall. Oh, there's a switch on the wall. Uh, turn on pallet spawn. Uh, okay. Yep, there it is. So when you turn that, Disable, it puts that there. Enable, puts it there. So that must be where the pallets spawn or something. Cool. All right, let's go load up some wheat. All right, make sure we stop because nobody is going to go by. <laughs> All right. That turned out pretty cool, though, huh? It's like a little store plot. Which is what I was going for. Right. Up the stairs. 
stairs, says Josh. All right, let's do a little bit of multitasking. That's going to take a minute to unload. So let's run out there and start making some straw. Bales. Straw bales. Get a head start. And that is a whopper of a field. Holy smokes. <clears throat> Off we go. Howdy, Frosty. I sent you two super chats and they didn't go through. No, they didn't. Last one I got from you was asking about Miss Frosty cooking, and that was an hour ago. Yeah, none of them are going through, brother. I, I'm sorry. They didn't go through. Uh, we got Coop Strain celebrating 11 months as a jackwhacker. Very nice, Coop Strain. I do appreciate that. How'd the rest of your uh, zombie killing go there, sir? Thank you for the 11 months. Get close to being a rooster. One more month and you'll have a rooster. Look how high that weed is. Oh, that's so thick and luscious and... Mm. I wanna slap it. Woo! Good looking harvest right there. I had to move inside as there's a thunderstorm coming in. Oh, I see. Excuse me. Uh, 500,000 liters. Oh, it holds 500,000 liters. Holy moly. All right. That's good. Dang. That's a lot of straw. Justin the Beta coming in with the $2. Thank you, Justin. $2 super chat. Too big, Rick Frosty. I do appreciate you. Sweet little man. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, Justin. <coughs> you like that truck? Yeah, it's the old Ford. The old Ford. We got that used on sale for like 12 grand. Gets the job done. Slow down, Frosty. Slow down. Right, back to harvesting. <laughs> kind of blocked myself in, didn't I? Yeah, once you put that header down, it takes like five seconds for it to start moving. That's what it is, I guess. Right along the tree line there. There we go. Uh, do you live in Colorado, says Josh? Can you do the follow me behind the harvester? You can, it's a little tricky. Or you can do course play. Let the course play harvest, copy the tracks that the harvester makes and paste it to the course play for the baler and then it'll follow the baler. But we're doing it manually because it's fun. You know, we're in no rush. We'll have no problem knocking this out. This won't take too long. This big old harvester. Be done before you know it. We couldn't even do one headland. That's how massive this field is. It's a doozy. All 
I've seen where you can attach the baler to a combine. Yeah, I've seen that too. I've never seen it done in real life, so kind of seems a little on the odd side. But I'm sure there's someone out there that does it in real life. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Sitting at 65%. Let's go. Come on. Stuck on the swath. And now, eh, nah, I'm not even gonna make. I'm not even gonna use GPS. This, I mean, we could. Nah. Fine. On fine. Good evening, from Hello, Rhett. I was wondering when that golden rooster was going to hop in. What's up, Daddy? How's, how's vacation going? Still on it, right? Mm -hmm. This feels sweet. This will keep the grain mill running for months and months and months. We will take a time out from Harveston so we can get uh, at least a bale, or some bales into that uh, production. Come on, baby, fill up. There we go. Right. Get back and bailing a little bit here. Can you get a grain trailer to put on the back of the grain truck? Uh, we could, but have you seen my bank account? I got 1200 bucks. I don't think there's any grain trailers for sale for $1,200, but you could. There is a hitch on the back of that truck. Might be something I'll invest in in the future. I mean, right now, our farm is right here. Like, our field is right next to the farm. There's really no need for anything too crazy. Because I'm just going, like, from there to there. That's it. But once this expands and we got to drive a little further, I could see getting a trailer. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think I'm doing pigs. They're, they're worthless, Dennis. <laughs> they just don't make you any money on farm sim. Yeah, I'll probably pass on the pig pen. But I do want to have more. I want to have a big chicken coop. I want to have like 500 chickens at least so we can be pumping out eggs. We got plenty of wheat and barley to feed chickens. We just got to save money to get a chicken coop. Because we just spent it all on uh, production. say he did he never answered me fine talking to Kevin it's like frosty I will talk to you when I feel like it I'm trying to talk to Kevin Florence all right rep uh, can you get a guy read that uh, honk says a really in oh you want a honk a tutor there you go there you go that'll blow your eardrums out chat you're welcome to the harvester.
bang, bada, boom. Look at the length of this field. Holy crap. It's massive. It's quite massive, isn't it? Not a large. I'm gonna put a little gap in the fence. <laughs> I got to. I got to put a little gap in there. Demolish. There you go. <laughs> Bloop. Let me get a honker too. No, I just, I did, literally just did it. You can use what was left of the last honker toot. Okay. I don't just throw them around like candy. <laughs> ah, pigs will make you money if you make bacon from them with the butcher shop and you sell them at six months old. Yeah, that's just too much work. Mmm, bacon, says Josh. Yes, bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. This little trailer looks so dumb behind this. I need to upgrade my trailer now that we got that big um, production. It probably holds a crap load of water and all I got is this little baby trailer here. It's not gonna cut it. Not gonna cut it, daddy. At least water's free. Right. Sorry, Frosty was replying to Kevin. Yes, we had our first port day today. We still sail until Sunday and fly home Sunday night. Nice. Sounds like you're having fun, though. And I was joking. You, you know that. Yeah, I saw a couple of the pictures. You riding that roller coaster, that looked scary. That thing looked fast. <laughs> that was a fast one. All right, I'm going to empty what's... Uh, I'm gonna top off the grain mill with some wheat so it can keep pumping out flour. Probably isn't gonna require much, but I want it topped off. Hmm. Oh, does it not let you dump one? Oh, there we go. <laughs> go. Probably not going to take the whole truck load, but yep. All right, so lots of leftovers. And we are done with the uh, grain mill tonight. be going back that. Need to test out those wood chips sometimes to see if it'll finally scoop them up or what the heck's going on with that. Wouldn't let me scoop them up for anybody new watching. I don't know if it's because it's a platinum expansion sawmill or what. It would not uh, spawn wood chips to scoop. It'll spawn it visually, but it won't let me scoop them up. I don't understand. All right, I can't remember which one has weed in it. Might have to move some stuff around here. Yep, this one has wheat. So, need to move this over there. little system set up to get that lid closed 
I forgot to close it. That's our barley. And then we got about 8,400 liters of wheat left over from the last harvest. All right, that lid's open. All right, Frosty, did you try using a belt system for the wood chips? Just an idea. Everybody always tells me that, Josh. I tried it on... Um, my other survival series and didn't have much luck, but I might try it again, see if we have any luck with it. But. Don't know. Should be just about stinking perfect. All right, we're gonna keep that running. I'm going to need to hook up to the Soaring Eagle conveyor and get it backed up over here. Holy moly. The brakes on this thing are rough. Oh, they're really bad. Get it at a decent angle to unload in. All right, let me try something else. <laughs> Hang on. Beep, beep, beep. It's just a crappy angle. All right, we'll just uh, drop it right here. I'll have to back into it with the truck. No biggie. All right, let's get this settled down. And I always forget I can uh, turn it once it's on here. doesn't let you it only lets you rotate guess that'll do all right we got it locked into the ground it's activated everything should be ready to roll uh, frosty rice crispy treats are my weakness frosted rice crispy treats are delicious. I know that for a fact, because I eat them too. Sometimes. That didn't work. I'll have to do it from this angle. Yeah, those are good. Uh, we got Fly Flight Medic Dunk. Flight Medic Dunk. Becoming a brand new Jack Whacker. Flight Medic Dunk. That's a hard word. That's hard to say. I'm going to have to call you something else, like, uh, I'll try to call you Flight Medic Dunk. That's hard to say, though. That's a tongue twister right there. Uh, thank you for becoming a member. Do you appreciate that? Thank you. Sir or ma'am, I'm not sure. I'm just going to say thank you until I know more information. All right, everything's working. It's going into the conveyor, going into the pipe, going into the silo. It's like daddy wanted it to. Mm. Very 
nice. That's very nice, yes, thank you. Okay. Be nice. Alright, so I'm gonna have like an assembly line type of thing going on here. Now we gotta go get our little water trailer. It's all filled up and ready to go. Go empty out the harvester. And then we'll go get the... Nah, we'll finish the harvest and then get the bales put in. This is the smart thing to do, I suppose. That works too. If you speak it... They will come. Howdy. It's me, Frog. There's Mr. Lewis. There he is. There he is with his big purple hearts. Uh, Jason, done in the shop for tonight. Frosty chat. Got to go to bed. Get up work in the morning. I will finish watching the stream sometime tomorrow. Mr. Culbertson, have a splendid evening. And thanks for uh, watching even while you were working on stuff. Still took the time to hang out with Frosty and friends. Thank you. All right, the harvester shut down on its own while we were waiting. All right. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, hit that like button only if you like what you see. If you don't, I get it. It's not for everybody. But if you do like it, smack it. Happy 60th. Is it... Is it Mr. Lewis's 60th birthday today? No. Is it really your birthday? What did I have for dinner, Jacob? Ooh, Miss Frosty cooked up a storm. It was like Thanksgiving tonight at my house. She made... Um, what all did she make? She made all kinds of stuff. Homemade mashed potatoes. Uh, gravy with the chicken mixed in it. And then you pour that on top of your mashed potatoes. And then she made some baked pineapple. One of my favorite dishes. Very sweet and delicious. Homemade, uh, well not homemade. She made some garlic bread with like some good bread. It's like big chunky bread. Melt in your mouth. Something else. Oh, noodles and like chicken noodles. All kinds of stuff. I don't know what got into her, but she made a good dinner. A big mama dinner. I liked it. Uh. Good. Whew. Forgot all about that. I thought you had volleyball food. That was yesterday, Kevin. My goodness. That was like a whole day ago. Yeah, yesterday was volleyball food. Today was a uh, big, big cooked meal by Miss Frousted. Yeah, we have another volleyball game Thursday night. So unless we eat before we go to the game, it'll be another whatever you can find at the volleyball game dinner type of night. This harvester's getting it done. So for those of you that did miss the last episode of this series, what do you think of the new harvester? Some of you, it's your first time seeing it. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? It's not bad. That's almost a 10 meter wide uh, header, which is definitely needed for these bigger fields we have. That's nice. I think it does great. It's the job done. Holds close to 12,000 liters total on a full tank. I do reckon it's pretty nice. You like a mouse? Me too. Very special. Very nice. Scooty advised for me to get this harvester. He said it's one of the best running green machines out there. So 
He is our financial advisor. I took his advice and uh, here we are. I love it. One of the better choices he's made lately. Uh, dang bud, sounds like you got a heck of a lady. I had softball food. Definitely pretty jealous. Softball food? What what does that what is that? What's softball food? Softball food. Anytime I went to softball games, there wasn't nothing to eat. It's whatever you brought with you. Is that what you're trying to say? You had whatever you could bring? A bologna and cheese sandwich and some chips. A little bag of chips. All right. Another full load ready for you. You don't realize how big this field is till you actually have to work on it. It is big. That is so good though. So much flour we're gonna get out of this. Like on my other production, or my other uh, survival series we had, I remember the productions, they'd run out of stuff. Because we just didn't have enough crop flow from our fields. Because they weren't big, they were just little fields. These fields are whoppers. It sets us up for, like, the long haul. Like, we keep those productions running. Mm. Love it. Let that unload and keep on bailing. Concession stand nachos. Okay. It's all right. Kind of hurts you on the way home or when you get home, but it's okay. Temporary fix until you have a good meal. Hot dogs. I can't. I got to be desperate if I got to eat hot dogs. I just, I don't like them. They kind of make me sick and they always sit in my stomach nasty. They don't even taste that great. I'm just, I'm just not a hot dog guy. I love a good old cheeseburger. Beer. Put a couple of strips of bacon across it. Big old chunk of cheese. Now we're talking. You're 30 today. You're 30 years old. Can we get a bunch of happy birthdays for Isaiah? He's a, he's a rooster. I mean, he's been here over a year. He's been here longer than that. He's followed me over on the Facebook days. It's a, it's a special day for him, and it's a special day here for everyone to acknowledge his special birthday. He's 30 years old. Little baby Lewis is now a 30-year-old. Sweet, precious baby Isaiah Lewis. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, buddy. Instead of everyone asking what I had for dinner, what did the birthday boy have for dinner? Did you have a special meal? Hmm? Huh? Did you have a lovely dinner? Movie theater, all beef hot dogs and triple layered bleh. Gosh. Gross. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I just can't do the hot dogs. <laughs> I, I hate going to like cookouts or birthday parties where that's the only thing to eat is a hot dog. I'm like, come on, man. Can I like go in your fridge and find something? Come on. Help a brother out. You know? So a full truckload gets about one and a half grain tanks out of the harvester, which isn't too bad. Not bad at all. Once we're rich on this series, we'll get like a big auger trailer that can hold a lot and then just transport it over to the farm. 
for now. We're just working with what we got. Yield is gorgeous. 80%. How old are I? I'm 39. Yeah. Almost 40. All right, what do you have for dinner? It says, thank you, chat. He had thank you, chat, for dinner. Mm, sounds good. Delicious. Great. When I was 30, I was still in the army and I was in Korea, says WD. Nice. So you're an old fart, huh? Dang. Look at all those happy birthdays. You guys are so nice. I cannot not eat hot dogs, says Bradley Simmons. Oh, I know. I know there's a bunch of you in here that enjoy them, but they make me sick. I can go, I can go years without eating one if I don't have to. That'd be like an apocalypse food that I'd be forced to eat if that's all I could find is a hot dog. Yeah. Come on, fill up already. All right, another full load. Pretty close to the farm already, so just make a turn right here, and we're right there at the farmyard. Right. Ah, I wish this thing was angled different. This is horrible. Actually, I could turn it a little more this way. Then I can pull into it. Unfold. It should still work. That way I can just pull into it. Gosh. Come on, you big old fart knocker. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? I ain't gonna mess with it. Just pick that mother up. Get out of it! Oh! Not that one. Not that much. That's what I meant to do. All right, holy macaroni and jelly. There we go. <clears throat> Next time I'll set it up better. I'll put the uh, yellow pipe like over out of the way more where there's room. I just set it up kind of dumb this time. I was in a hurry and I messed up, okay? It happens. wanted it to be where I could just pull right through there like that, kind of. You know what I mean? All right, let's go deliver this water real quick. Get our second load of water into the, uh, the new production. <clears throat> uh, Portillo's has good hot dogs, says Kevin Florence. I would rather have, yeah, big old cheeseburger, Texas beach bum. Come on, sounds good. 
Thank you. He says, uh, I had a nice ribeye and some mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. While, while you were eating all that good food, I built a straw processing factory that makes straw purses and hats. So how do you like that, Mr. Lewis? I bet you wish you did that on your birthday. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, this trigger point's got to be better than... What is going on with this thing? Selecting the trailer would help. That is such a small trigger point. That is like so tiny. Nice. All right, water's in. for wheat. No, it wasn't. I already set all that up. Uh, did someone say Portolio's chocolate cake? No, they said hot dog scooter. They said hot dog. Alright, harvester shut down because we took too long. So much multitasking going on right now. Baling, harvesting, watering, carting grain back to the silo. Man, all these fields harvested now, that means we're going to have a stretch of time without anything to harvest. Ugh. Which is painful when you have seasons on, but it's all good. We got to get some uh, fields into a rotation of like plant this crop at this certain time so there's like a more flow of things to harvest a little more regularly we did what we could starting out the survival series just kind of want to attack everything as quick as possible get as many fields made get the crop in so you can get a big old harvest which the last two episodes have been a lot of harvesting means you need more fields for oh, I need more land our lands pretty much all spoken for except where there's trees we do have tr more trees but I'm leaving this whole stretch of trees for decoration because I don't I don't want it all to just be open space I don't like that look I like having a little uh, mother nature surrounding us Cheeseburgers in the air fry for dinner tonight. Come on. A 99 cent heart attack. That's right. That just means a cheeseburgers. Good night. For you too, Brian Santor. Peace out, bro. What'd Stevie say? He's like a 70-year-old woman. Complain, 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 says Stephen. Who are you talking about? Me? <laughs> I couldn't get that mod to work on my No Man's Land, says Brad. Which mod? Ugh. Which mod are you talking about? The straw processing mod, or what are we talking about? Matthew Vanderwall, have a good night as well, sir. Good night. Yeah, it's getting late. It's 11.30 p.m. Eastern. I've been live for three hours. 
have you hit the like button during that three-hour tour? What's up, Orville Ward? He says, hey, hello. What's up, Daddy? How's Mama doing, Orville? Uh, you all got a good chunk of cash from the hats so you can get more dirt soon. How are you going to use a roller to mulch the field? How are you going to use a roller to mulch the field? You don't. A roller rolls the field. Yeah, I don't, I don't do... Uh, I don't roll fields. I, I use... Uh, seedbed reconsolidation mod. That way you don't have to roll. Macaroni and jelly. That sound kind of gross, Van Busky. I'd eat it though. Didn't sound that bad. <laughs> Take care of that. Let's see how far we can push this bale. Because they're going to run it over. Just pushing it. <laughs> that ain't hurt nothing, I guess. All right, seven to nine percent. I was going on that question you got asked her. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> see what you're doing. All right. We're getting there. Pretty good sized field. I might actually save the rest of this for the next episode. Because like I said, we're not going to get the harvest for a long time. So I wouldn't mind actually saving this for next time. Are we almost full? Almost full? Yeah, I think we will do that. I'm going to get this unloaded. And then I want to get those bales picked up, the ones we've made, and get that straw production up and running. That was my goal for the night, and we are going to make it happen. We're going to get the darn thing rolling. There's another Falcon Net 9 rocket launch in eight minutes. I've been crazy watching them shoot up from my balcony. 64 launches this year. 64 launches. Do you ever like record it or take a little video of it or something? This would be that'd be a nice little short, like a YouTube short. Falcons taking off. That'd be cool. Does a mulcher fertilize the field? No. What do you plant next, Frosty? I can't plant anything. Mr. Frosty, would you go skydiving? No. No thanks. No desire. Let's get this shut off. She needs a cool down. We'll get this last load in, and then we'll hook up to the bale trailer. What am I planting next? Uh, nothing, because we're in... Uh, well, actually, canola. But we got to wait till the next month, or are we in the... Yeah, we're in the right month where we can direct drill some canola in, like, one field. And then we're back to the wheat and barley. So it's going to be a combination of the two, or three, wheat, barley, canola, in the next couple months on this series. 
of drilling, getting that planted into the ground. Right, let's see if I can sneak in here. truck inches forward while it's dumping. Alright. How much we got up in here? Oh yeah, look at that. This is all extra stock. Like 47,000 liters. Make, yeah, 48. 48,000 liters of wheat up in there. Nice. Alright, we're gonna leave that sitting there. Shut this down. And we'll hook up the pickup truck to the bale trailer. Forget all that beautiful grass to heart and grass. Yeah, it'll be lots of grass. All right, let me make sure I have this thing set up properly. The transport position. All right, ready to roll. get uh, as many picked up as we can here and transport them over to the new production yeah yeah the scooty says the production holds 500,000 liters of straw and these are like 9,000 liters a piece so we won't fill the production up to the max but we'll definitely give it a good head start get it caught a bit I'm more concerned of how fast it's gonna burn the water <clears throat> you should just drag the bale trailer behind the grain truck well, I had the water thing hooked up to it. That's why. Yeah, I could have done that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Yep, yep. Cool. Cool. 17 bales. All right, let's see. Let's see how smooth this goes. First, I'm going to unload them right onto the trailer and see if it just steals them off the trailer. Of course not. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it is. Slowly. It's taking its time, that's all. There we go. <clears throat> it's slowly taking them off there. Baby steps. Uh, let's hear the complaints about the trigger size. It's actually working not bad. Took all the bales. Not bad. All right, so we got a little bit of water in there. And we do have straw. Let's see how much we're looking at here. Oh, it doesn't require a lot of water, actually. <clears throat> Not bad. That was only two loads of water. Nice. 
and we got 153,000 liters of straw in there already. And we got everything activated, so it's gonna start making straw accessories in a straw crate. What a nice. It's, uh, let's, let's get out of the way. <clears throat> and fast forward just a little bit. I just want to see what the pallets look like. I'm interested. I want to see them. I want to see how nice they are. Don't you? All right, let's fast forward like a couple hours. Oh, yeah. Go to like noon. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We only did like two hours. And look at that. Oh, my goodness. My goodness, chat. Do you like that or what? Yeah, baby. Yeah. We got straw hats. You can get gray, white, or just plain old straw with a black ribbon. You can get a black purse, white purse, or plain. And we got big old straw baskets. <laughs> a straw crate for you. That's pretty cool, actually. All right. So that's what this production will be pumping out on a regular basis. That's cool. See how much those bad boys are worth. Uh, ooh. Straw accessories, $1,758. Um, straw crates worth $2,600. Oh, wow. Oh, it's going to be very nice. I like that. All right. Good stuff. That's a good production right there. Uh, nice. What is that mod name? It is called Straw Processing. Straw Processing. <laughs> I think it's on the Mod Hub. Pretty sure Scooty sent me the link and it took me right to the Mod Hub. Pretty cool. I'm happy with that. That's gonna that's gonna help us make a good chunk of money. Good, 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 good. Good. Yeah, I think it's smart for us to save the rest of this harvest for next time, only because this is going to be so long before we get to harvest again. So I kind of want to stretch it out and enjoy doing more uh, at the beginning of the next show of this series. You know what I mean? It just seems like the, the proper thing to do. But uh, we'll have all kinds of things. Next episode, we'll be topping that off with more straw. And grain mills running like a smooth operator. Sawmill, we'll put a little wood in that next time because we'll have to cut a few more trees down on our one area that we started tonight. Get into flight mode here. Yeah, we'll have that much left to harvest. Didn't take long, but gives us something to start out with next time. Got all our fields mulched. I'll probably probably drill one field with some canola because it's nice to have that for the uh, oil mill. Uh, we cut this field tonight. This is what eventually will be the new home for a bigger cow barn, which will be right next door to our calf pen. So once they grow up and are old enough to produce milk, we'll transfer them from there to a nice big cow barn. So that's what that'll be in the future. Um, what else? What else? Sheep are doing great. And then our grass will be ready to cut next time, probably. I'll probably put canola right back in this field again. I don't know. I don't stink it now. This is becoming a nice area where we're going to extend this. We're going to use the plow next time and turn this field into a bigger field, I think. We're going to, like, wrap it around the, the, the shape here and make a big old mama field. And maybe we'll still put canola in there. We'll get a lot more cannoli pies. Yeah, this is looking good. I like it. I hope you guys like it too. Looking good to me. 
There's our grain mill. Got a nice little stretch of stuff going on here. The store. Uh, that's where we fill up with bulk materials. We pay for it. And then our newest addition tonight is our straw processing production. It's turned out pretty cool. Did a little Bob Ross session and tried to decorate it and make it look cool. That's our newest addition right there. That's going to be it for me, chat. Uh, thank you, Justin Abeta. Have a good one. Ian Oppenheim, Steve Cook, Dust Bunny. Peace out. Dustin Larson, good night. Uh, Scooty says the straw processing mod is all platform straight out of the Giants Mod Hub. That's what I thought. Go find it and use it. Oh, yes. It's by NYKK3 in the Mod Hub. There you go. All you got to use is straw and water. Easy peasy. And then it makes pallets you can go sell. Very nice. Uh, thank you, Josh Rutledge, uh, Texas Beach Bum, Nathan Weagle, Mouse, Dakota. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. If you didn't, I've, I've only asked a few times, but if you forgot, smack that like button on the way out, all right? You don't have to smack it too hard. Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, yet again, thanks for the entertainment, Frosty. Makes the nights pass a little smoother. Good night, everybody, and see you on the next one. All right, you too. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you for the super chats, the gifted memberships. We got a handful of gifted subs tonight. Uh, congrats to all of you, and thanks for all who sent them. We had a few people become members. Appreciate all of you that did that. Thank you for supporting the channel, and we'll be back tomorrow. Wednesday, around 8.30ish. Sometimes it's going to be 8 o'clock. It just depends. Like tonight, I started, what, 8.15 or something? Somewhere between 8 and 8.30, you know? Uh, you too, Steve. Peace out, brother. Elizabeth Sturdy, night, night. Night, night. Uh, have fun, Rhett. Have fun on your uh, getaway. Enjoy. Have some delicious food and lots of fun. Goodbye. All right, peace out, everybody. I'm out of here. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming signing off. Good night.